Welcome to week two of Climate Match Academy. And in week two, day one, we're going to start talking about climate model ensembles. So what these ensembles are and how we can use them to understand the uncertainty that we have in future climate projections. And before we get started with today's material, I wanted to give a bit of background on myself. So I'm Brody Pearson. I'm an assistant professor at Oregon State University in the USA. And I'm originally from the UK, where I got my graduate degrees before I moved to the USA for a postdoc and now for a faculty position. Now, broadly, my research interests are in using and developing numerical models to simulate ocean and coupled climate system. Now, specifically, I'm a physical oceanographer and a lot of my work focuses on turbulence and other processes that mix within the ocean and at the air-sea interface and in developing parameterizations for these processes. So I, we're going to talk a little bit about parameterizations in a tutorial later today. And I'm also interested in leveraging new computational hardware to conduct novel science, specifically through GPU accelerated computing. Now, before we dive into the first tutorial, I just wanted to remind everyone about some of the stuff that you learned last week about why climate models are useful, specifically in the context of these first few days in week two of Climate Match Academy, the main utility of climate models comes from the fact that they can be used to project what Earth system's climate may look like in the future. And then models do this by taking an initial climate state, using a set of physical rules to estimate what the climate may look like at some point in the future, one time step into the future. And by repeating this for many time steps in a row, climate models can be used to project centuries if not further into the future and look at what Earth's, Earth's climate may look like at those points in time. 